The island of Sodor is a very special place. It has hills and valleys, fields and forests. All of Sir Topham Hatt's engines love the island of Sodor. One day, Sir Topham Hatt came to Tidmouth Sheds. He had splendid news. The mayor has invited a famous artist to paint a picture called The Spirit of Sodor. It will be put on show at Knapford Station, boom, Sir Topham Hatt. Percy, you must collect the artist from Brendam Docks and show him all the most beautiful places. Yes, sir, said Percy. Thomas was excited for his friend. Percy was worried. What's the spirit of Sodor? asked Percy. Thomas thought, everything that is special about the island, he said. No one knows the island better than you, he puffed. And no one loves it more than you. You're just the engine for the job. Percy felt better. He would show the famous artist somewhere very special. Somewhere that was the spirit of Sodor. When Percy arrived at Brendan, the docks were very crowded. Everyone wanted to see the famous artist. He had paper and an easel. He had pots of paint and bags of brushes. A long smock to keep his clothes clean. And on his head, he wore a big black beret. Percy thought he looked very important. The famous artist climbed on board Percy. I want to see the spirit of Sodor, he said. Please show me somewhere special. Yes, sir, puffed Percy happily. And he steamed out of the docks as fast as he could go. Percy puffed across the island. Somewhere special, somewhere special, he chuffed. At last, Percy came to Shen Valley. It was very beautiful. There you are, sir, cried Percy happily. The spirit of Sodor. The famous artist had a very long look. Too green, he said. I want you to show me somewhere special. Percy was surprised. He thought Shen Valley was very special. But the artist was very famous and very important. Maybe Shen Valley isn't special after all. Percy set off again. He would show the famous artist somewhere else special. Percy came to Norumby Beach. The sun was shining. Children were playing in the sand. There was even a donkey giving rides. Percy was sure the famous artist would want the painting. Here we are, sir, he puffed. All the children love Normby Beach. The famous artist looked at Normby Beach. He held his paintbrush and palette. Mm, the sand is too yellow, he sighed. I want you to show me somewhere special. This upset Percy. He thought Normby Beach was the most cheerful place on the island. He wanted to tell the famous artist he was wrong. But all he said was, yes, sir, and set off sadly again. Percy took the artist to the viaduct. But the famous artist said, too tall. What? Then Percy took him to the windmill. Too round said the famous artist. Oh, come on! Finally, Percy took the famous artist to Knapford Station. There were engines and coaches, porters with packages, and loudest of all, the happy noise of passengers coming and going. Percy thought it was the most wonderful sight of all. Here, yes, sir, said Percy proudly. Isn't this the spirit of Sodor? Too busy, the famous artist sighed. 
why I do believe there is nothing special to paint on this island at all. Percy was so cross, his boiler bubbled, and he went as red as James. Gordon thought the artist was very rude. Everywhere on Sodor is special, Pete Percy, and so are the people and the children and the engines. We are all special. Then he wished some steam. His steam blew the artist's hat into the air. I want to see some top of hat right away, the famous artist cried. Percy was sure he was in trouble now. Percy waited and Sir Topham Hatt came to Napford at once. I have found the perfect thing to paint, cried the famous artist. What is it? asked Sir Topham Hatt. I am going to paint Percy. Bust my buffers, Percy gasped. You want to paint me? Percy is honest, hardworking, and helpful, and he is not afraid to speak his mind. He is surely the spirit of Sodor, said the famous artist. And Sir Topham had agreed. And so the famous artist painted Percy. And on the night the painting was to be shown for the first time, all the engines were there. When the mayor pulled a cord to show his picture, Percy gasped. I told you you were the best engine for the job, Thomas smiled, and Percy smiled too. He was very proud to be the spirit of Sodor.